What's up everybody? This is Aircrete Harry and today I'm going over my new Aircrete Harry foam generator, what you'll be receiving in your package and how to assemble the foam generator. So first thing you notice is you're going to receive the actual foam generating unit which will have our electric pump inside which will come with a two-year uh, guarantee. Next is the foot switch. You'll put this part on the floor and you'll plug your foam generator into here. Next is your airline in. So this is the air valve where you'll hook up your quick disconnect coming from your air compressor. Two lines, one for your foam solution and one to the foaming wand. A filter that'll go on the end going into the foaming solution and the actual foaming wand unit with the uh, quick disconnect end on it. So to use it's very simple. I start with the power cord and I'll plug this into the back of the cord here for the foot switch. Put this on the floor and this end I'll plug into my extension cord that's plugged in. On the top of the unit, it gives you uh, very simple instructions where to plug the hoses in. So you have your air in, your foam solution in, and foaming wand. So we'll take the air valve and plug that into the air in. Next, what you want to do is grab your hose coming from your air compressor and plug that in to the unit. Next, you're going to uncoil your two hoses and you want to just plug them both in. This is going to be your foam solution. And this is going to be to the foaming wand. So on the foam solution end, we have our filter that you want to plug in. And uh, when pushing the hose into the filter, you want to try not to go past the black line here. You don't want to push it all the way against the wall of the screen because then it may not uh, suck the foaming solution or rather your yeah, your foam solution in. So just push it in so that it's just past the black. And then what I also suggest is if you have uh, some large metal nuts to weigh down the hose. That'll help keep the hose from popping out of your uh, five gallon container because, you know, there's like a spring action to it. So you need to keep this at the bottom of your container. So what you're going to do now is put this into your five gallon bucket. We're going to grab the other end of the hose going from the foaming wand. And we're just going to plug that into the, to the back of our foam wand. So now that's ready. So next what you need to create foam is your foam solution. So I have a bucket of foam solution here. Actually I have a five gallon bucket of water that I'm going to add my foam solution to. So I use the Drexel foaming agent which is here. And if you use the Drexel foaming agent for a five gallon bucket of water, you only need to add four ounces of foaming solution. So that means with this one gallon of foaming solution, I can make 40 five gallon buckets. So I add 
the foam solution to the water and you want to mix that up. Also you could look at it one five gallon bucket one five gallon uh, one gallon of Drexel will make 4,000 gallons of aircrete. So and also the Drexel is the least expensive foaming agent that is the best foaming agent. And um, if you wanted to make foam using a, a shampoo, this is the one I would recommend. Uh, it's the best one for making foam that I've tested. Uh, the only problem is f you need to use this entire 30 ounces of shampoo in one five gallon bucket. So this becomes much more expensive. So now I like to uh, mix my foaming solution with my foaming wand and just stir it out a little. Next what we're going to do Next, what we want to do is prime our line. So we'll prime the line by stepping on our foot switch, activating the pump, and just allowing the foam solution to come out of the end of the wand, the foaming wand. So there you go. So now the line is primed, and now you can turn on your air valve and... Um, I'll turn it about a quarter way until the air comes through and you can see we're making foam. So I'll, um, I'll just come here, I'll step on the pedal and we have foam. And so we can change the density of the foam by adding more air to it. See here I'm adding air to it. I'm going to add some more air to it. Or by reducing the air pressure. So it depends what kind of density foam you're looking for. And that's it. Very simple and easy to operate. Now, one last thing I want to leave you off with. Also, it's very quick disassembly. And you're ready to go. And this hook is great for hooking it onto, uh, like my favorite, is I like to hook it on the end of my table here. And it just um, hangs. Really cool. Or I'll put it on the back of my... Um, hand truck when I'm uh, using the hand truck. The last thing I want to leave you off with is Drexel foaming agent I just purchased from a company called Stone Brothers uh, is a great deal. I was able to, as they say on their website, buy three one gallon foaming agents and I got the fourth one free and to ship it was $45 so altogether uh, I believe everything came out to $145 and what you see here is each one of these can make about 4,000 gallons of aircrete it's a great investment you pay one time for this to receive this uh, box of four and you're going to have all the foaming agent you need for a long time. Uh, and what it comes down to per five gallon bucket, each one of these buckets will cost you $1.10 to make foam. 
and each one of these buckets with the foam generator can make over a hundred gallons of foam so anyway I just wanted to point that out uh, on the leak the link below uh, we'll have my Etsy shop where you could get the foam generator and also there's a link to Stone Brothers where you can buy your Drexel foaming agent now they also sell a single one but um, in the end you know what you're paying for the shipping and all it's it's a much better deal to buy the four you know to buy three get the fourth free and then the shipping 145 uh great deal it's, it's probably the one of the best deals that i found on the internet for drexel so anyway that's it for now peace out i love you all and i'll catch you later